Howdy folks, I'm August Auriga, affably adventuring around amazing areas. I'm Amber. And here are more amazing areas for us to adventure around in our chariot. Let's get started. Alright folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for embarrassing my husband in front of random strangers? My husband is 31 years old, and he told me last night that his boss asked him to pick up an extra shift today because of short staffing. He said, I'm really sorry that I have to work on Valentine's Day. It did bother me, but it is what it is. We don't do anything over the top for Valentine's Day anyways. We just have movies and cuddle and whatever. But this year is different. We have a six-month-old daughter. So it did bother me, but I just let it go. His work schedule is from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. He's worked at the same company for nine years and his schedule has never changed and neither has his break time. I want to point that out ahead of time. So my vehicle was at the shop and it wasn't due to be done until the 16th, but he finished up today and gave me a call around 11. So I walked with my daughter to go and collect my vehicle. About a quarter mile walk, nothing big. After I grab the vehicle, I go to the gas station, which has a small restaurant inside. To my surprise, I see my husband's truck. Now he works 45 minutes in the opposite direction, so even if it was his lunch break, which it wasn't, he wouldn't have been able to make it to the restaurant. I go inside and I find him sitting at a table with his mom. Now this normally wouldn't be a big issue, but he and I just agreed to go no contact with his mother about a month ago because she physically slapped my daughter in the face and left a red mark because my daughter who is again six months old, bit down on her arm because she was cutting teeth. So I walked up to the table and I asked him how work was going and he stood up and told me, I'm sorry, I just wanted to have lunch with my mom on Valentine's Day. So I said, you want to have lunch with the woman who slapped your infant daughter across her face. Go ahead and have your lunch, but do not come home. Go stay with mommy. There were two couples sitting close by who were shooting daggers at him and his mom. One of them gasped and said, oh my goodness, while giving my mother-in-law dirty looks. Supposedly, I didn't see it, but this is what my husband texted me afterwards. He followed me out to my vehicle as I was walking off and said, it's not like I'm allowing her around our daughter. I shouldn't even have to lie to you about having lunch with my mom to begin with. All of this is pathetic and then you're embarrassing me in front of the entire restaurant. So I said, I'd be more embarrassed that you were hanging out with a child abuser, but each to their own, and get in my vehicle and I leave. I then went to the joint bank account and froze it after seeing a $400 purchase from his mother's favorite store, an antique shop, so he clearly bought something for her as well. I turned it off because more than half of the money is mine. I work full time as well and I make $9 more an hour than he does. Anyways, I call my friend because I'm just fuming at this point because he's made the agreement to go no contact with this woman and then he ditches me and his daughter to go on Valentine's Day with a lie about working just to hang out with her. But my friend says that I am being overdramatic and that I should have just left it alone and confronted him in private. I did add, when she slapped my daughter, I ended up leaving with my baby. She picked a fight with me when I told her to get out. Therefore, I left instead because she wasn't listening to me or my husband to tell her to leave. He said that he called the cops and they took a statement and later stated that it was just a word of mouth thing and they weren't pursuing it. Now I have my doubts about him even calling the cops. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. And I would be seriously reconsidering this relationship um, and also your relationship with your friend. That doesn't sound very cool. He has shown you where his priorities lie. And that is not with you or your daughter. It is with his mom who yeah. abused your child. Yeah. I think that's really what this boils down to. It seems like he has chosen his mother over OP. Now, I think that he should be allowed to visit his mom. And this one is a really tricky situation because of the whole child abuse thing. But he also agreed to go no contact with his mom. This wasn't something, you know, we weren't there for the conversation, but it's clear that at the time they agreed to go no contact with her. And he's the one who is backing out on his word to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, and he's instead of being an adult and talking to you with his words about his feelings, he's sneaking around, spending four hundred dollars on his mom's antique purchase, and then a meal on top of that. Like, it sounds like for Valentine's Day, you watch a couple of movies. He doesn't get you anything, and like maybe that's what OP likes, but. 
uh, here he is giving his mom an elaborate Valentine's Day. Yeah, well, and that's a, a bit problematic too, right? And it's not like he is treating them equally even, right? He went and got the mom something really big and expensive while completely ignoring his wife, right? Like, and there's nothing wrong with getting presents for parents. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I think my dad has gotten his mom, like, flowers for Valentine's Day, but he also would get my mom, like, a, a gift and flowers and dinner and everything, and he even gets kids little gifts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can celebrate with other people too it doesn't just have to be about romantic love but your partner should be somewhere on that list yeah but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck and i'll be honest says this sounds fake but anywho not the jerk grounds for divorce actually i know that's everyone's advice on reddit but keeping in contact with a child abuser is a no-go also cutting him off from the bank account is a form of financial abuse just so you know and op replies he has a personal account i only froze the joint account because he was spending partially my money on his mother instead of using his personal account i did want to actually touch on that uh financial abuse bit I think that OP was right to necessarily pull their money out. And that can always be difficult because it's like, well, how much money do you know you have in the joint account and whatnot? But he was certainly wrong for using joint account money to spend on his mom. Right. Well, I think freezing the account makes sense for the time being until they can sort out finances so that neither of them can spend, because, you know, if it's a frozen account, neither of them can spend money mm -hmm. and it's just kind of held in limbo until yeah. they sort out the finances. Yeah. And what happened to Monday says, so he lies to you both about work and seeing his mother. Then he takes her out for Valentine's Day and buys her an expensive present after she abused your child. Update me when you kick him out. And Sarana says, yeah, definitely going to need an update on this one. He canceled Valentine's Day with his wife and instead took his mother, who slapped his infant across the face, out to lunch and shopping. I'm seeing a huge red flag on the behalf of OP. Her husband and mother-in-law are not good people. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, My fiancé, a 35-year-old male, claims that I, a 26-year-old female, chose my job over him and this is some relationship advice my fiance is a 35 year old male and he claims that i a 26 year old female chose my job over him on valentine's day we went out to eat and he asked me if i would call off work the next day to hang out i told him no as i had several things that i needed to complete at work and have several people relying on me to get it completed after i said that he said you always choose that place over me it won't be there for you in 20 years I asked him what he wanted to do with me, and he said that he wanted to go to the courthouse to get married. We discussed something like this a very long time ago, however, it wasn't something we recently talked about doing. After this, I was visibly upset while still at the restaurant. He tried to talk to me, and I would answer with short replies because I was holding back tears. He threw a fit and said that I ruined a perfectly nice day. We went home, and we haven't talked to each other since. This is not the first time that he has said that I have chosen work over him. He's always asking me to call in. When I say no, I get the same response. I don't like calling in unless I have to, because if I do, I get behind. We get several days off together. I work Monday through Friday, eight hours a day. He works at bracket type rotation, and I don't bring any work home with me. I don't even want to think about work while I'm at home. It also upsets me that going to the courthouse was the surprise. Getting married is a huge thing, and that needs to be discussed. Is there something that I'm not understanding or seeing here? All right, folks, what do you think? I think it may be time to find a new relationship. I mean, there are some giant red flags going on here. One, working your regular shifts is not choosing your job over your partner. Yeah. It's what you do to get paid. You know, and we live in a society where you need money to live. Yeah. And I am concerned that he's trying to get you to jeopardize your job. Because if you call out all the time, that is going to jeopardize your job. Yeah. Um, and then the whole big surprise being the courthouse when, like you said, you haven't even talked about this. This wasn't a plan. His surprise was, oh, guess what? We're getting married on my timeline. Yeah. I think that those are both really disconcerting things. And certainly, like, it would have been a nice thing if he had, like, you know, you two, he had proposed or something like that. And then, you know, you two had made this decision that on, you know, it's X and Y day that you would go to the courthouse. And then maybe he would have a point if you were, like, 
oh, I have to go to work on that day instead of actually go to the courthouse like you two had originally agreed, but this was completely out of the blue. And I agree with Amber here. It does seem like OP is working reasonable work hours. They're not bringing work home with them. They're working Monday through Friday. And they probably get time off like the rest of us, right? And, you know, if you have a job with responsibilities, you can't just take time off whenever you want. Sometimes you can if there's not a whole lot going on during that time, but there's a lot of times when you can't, right? Yeah, so I would just be very, very cautious. I personally think it may be time to look for a new relationship because this his the way he's blaming op here for choosing work over him is not healthy not good and... yeah well and then also his whole attitude of like you ruined a perfectly good day right yeah exactly and these accusations like this this is stuff like oh this is your fault if you had just taken the day off like i told you to then you wouldn't have ruined a perfectly good day yeah, he's turning things around on her. He's the one who starts the fight in the first place. And then he's like, oh, well, if you hadn't done this. And he doesn't seem to care about her feelings at all. He's very dismissive yeah. of her legitimate grievances. Yeah, and I think that's a pretty big red flag like you do. And I hope that OP can see those red flags and reevaluate this relationship. It doesn't sound like a very healthy relationship. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Trey Z says, you're an adult with a job. Nobody likes taking random days off. That's just a reality of being an adult. So you have to worry about why he is making you do something that will obviously inconvenience you as a sign that you care for him. You also have to reflect if there is a pattern of him doing stupid stuff like this. Little loyalty tests that seem to pivot on his ability to control you. Then there is this wedding thing. Like, I will be honest, I don't actually think that he planned to go to the courthouse. I think he just said that to make you feel bad, like you spoiled his positive surprise. But it isn't. It's a random courthouse wedding with zero discussion or planning the day after Valentine's on a work day. Like, what on earth could that possibly achieve? Just be careful. Everything about how he frames things is a worry. And honestly, as it stands, marriage with him just seems like an outright bad idea. Yeah, well, that is an important thing, too. And, like, I don't have enough information in the situation, but that is something that abusers will do sometimes to further isolate their victims, is, like, pressure them into leaving their job or doing things that will get them fired. Yeah, I mean, I agree with what you're saying here. Like, the whole control bit, this does seem like he's being very controlling. And I also agree with them, and, along with the whole idea that maybe this wasn't a planned out thing and he just said this. Chances are that he wasn't really planning on doing that. He just wanted to make you feel guilty for one reason or another for rejecting his idea to take a day off. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here, and Amber, she has a joke. What might you call a cozy place to read? I would call a cozy place to read a book nook. Exactly. Oh, is that the punchline? That's the punchline. Oh, it's just kind of rhymy. Yes. So it wasn't really a joke. No, it's just, it's a rhyme. It says on the cover, 101 silly puns, rhymes, and more. Oh, so do we have 300 and some odd? No, it's 101 silly things in total. It's not what your title says. That is what it says. And I have the licorice spice or apple cinnamon. I have apple cinnamon. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week, folks. Congratulations. Hopefully we have a good long weekend ahead of us. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please have it involve a bad husband or a bad partner. If someone doesn't listen to you, sneaks around behind your back, makes you feel bad for having legitimate feelings, they're not being a good partner. Yes, exactly. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Howdy, folks. I'm August Areg... Aruga. How did I say Ariga? that? Ariga. Ariga. Howdy, folks. I'm August Aruga. Ariga. Howdy, folks. I'm August Aruga. Ariga. Ariga. Howdy folks, I'm August Ariga of Howdy folks, I'm August Ariga Howdy folks, I'm August Ariga of Ariga Ariga Affably adventuring around amazing areas. Howdy folks, I'm August Ariga. 
Did I say it right? You said it close enough. Ariga? Ariga. Ariga. Howdy, folks. I'm August Ariga. Ariga. Howdy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you say it right, and then you're like... Howdy, folks. I'm August Ariga. Ariga, yeah. Ariga. <laughs> I can't. It's like my brain is working. The moment I say it, I feel like I've said it wrong. <laughs> Howdy, folks. I'm August Ariga. Uh, howdy, folks. I'm August Ariga. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh.